As the name suggests, the Rhône-Alpes region in France is defined by the name of the River Rhône and the French Alps. But the Rhône not only gives the region its name, it also shapes the landscape, the economy and the people on both sides of the banks of the Rhône with its dominant Rhône Valley. Following the course of the Rhône from north to south, travelers in the Rhône's Alp region not only experience a change in climate from continental to Mediterranean with corresponding changes in the landscape. Anyone driving south from Lyon, the capital of the rhone alp region, towards Valos will also experience a change in culture and lifestyle. It is no different for those traveling to or through the region, on excursions or tours by motorcycle, car or motorhome towards the mountains, the Savoie or the Southern Alps. Life changes in all directions, they say about France's wine and gourmet region. The change in traditions, way of life and the regional cuisine of southern France in the rhone alpes could hardly be expressed more aptly. While in the fertile valleys you can enjoy the good vintages of good wines from the south of France, such as a Côte du Rhône with fish and vegetables, the typical regional cuisine in the mountainous regions of the rhone alpes is much stronger with smoked meats, cheese and potatoes. Take a few moments now. We invite you to follow us to the most beautiful places in rhone alpes If you enjoy this video, please leave a comment, like or subscription. Thank you. At the confluence of the San and Rhone rivers, the old town nestles picturesquely against the hills. As you stroll through the UNESCO World Heritage Site, you will discover charming bistros that proudly celebrate the unofficial title of France's gourmet capital. Famous wine-growing regions such as the Beaujolais and the Côte du Rhône are just outside the city, so you can spend some enjoyable days here. Lyon, the third largest city in France, can look back on over 2,000 years of history. One of the city's most famous sons was the future Roman Emperor Caracalla, whose father was the Roman governor of the province of Gaul. In the Middle Ages, the city was a center of silk weaving. Lyon's cuisine, which is simple yet exquisite, is also famous. The fact that it rose to such great fame is thanks to the Mayor Lyonnaise, who set up their own small restaurants after the decline of the bourgeoisie in the 19th century. A tour of Lyon is a journey through 2,000 years of eventful history with many different impressions. In the culinary capital of France, you can taste simple regional specialties as well as highly decorated gourmet cuisine. Lose yourself in the maze of travels or stroll through one of the largest squares in France and marvel at the impressive architecture. The many murals on the facades of the houses are a particular artistic delight.
Literally located in the heart of the XXL Ski Area 3 Valleys, Maribel is considered an exclusive winter sports resort and offers a unique ambience. Surrounded by impressive pine forests, Maribel presents itself as a modern ski resort on the one hand and is characterized by traditional Savoyard architecture with predominantly wood-clad chalets on the other. In addition to the districts of Maribel Center, Maribel Village and Maribel Monterey between 1400 and 1750 meters above sea level, the Valle des Alu, the middle of the three valleys that make up the Trois Valleys ski area, is home to the thermal resort of Breeds Labour at 600 meters and the Le Ayue Valley Station at 1100 meters above sea level. At 2950 meters, the Mont du Vallon is the highest ski peak in the ski area. Maribel owes its popularity in particular to its location at the heart of the Three Valleys ski area, which can be easily explored from here. Thanks to a perfect lift connection to the Belleville and Courchevel valleys on both sides, the largest interconnected ski area in the world is practically on the doorstep. The Maribel Valley itself also offers a variety of slopes, vast expanses of snow and the ideal descent for every skier. Not to mention the fact that Maribel has been awarded the title of family-friendly ski resort. Valence, the gateway to the south of France and the capital of the Drôme, is a charming city in the Rhône Valley. With its sunny climate, its riverside location and its city of art and history label, it is an attractive city in every respect. With its many café terraces, pleasant pedestrian squares, shopping streets and classified buildings, the old town has a warm and welcoming atmosphere. Valence has some very beautiful buildings, the oldest of which is Sonapolinaire Cathedral, which dates back to the 11th century. The colorful stone decorations and the white stone bell tower contrast with the molass structure. You can't miss the beautiful house of heads at number 57 Great Street, which owes its name to the many sculpted heads that adorn the facade and courtyard. The Saint Jean Church and its beautiful 19th century neo-Romanesque style bell tower and sculpted capitals date from the former medieval Romanesque church, the monumental fountain from 1887, designed by Eugene Poitou, is located in the city centre on Boulevard Bancel. Or the 13th century House of the Cloth Merchant, the oldest house in Valence, built of stone and located in the Saint Jean district. The Aven d'Orniac is a stalactite cave classified as a grand site to France and was discovered by a French speleologist in 1935. It is located just a few steps away from the Ardèche Gorge in the municipality of orniac la venne This Ardèche cave is the world benchmark for underground caves. You will discover breathtaking landscapes, and light shows have even been installed to intensify the impression of this fairy tale setting. Explore the Aven d'Orgnac cave on a guided tour. When visiting the cave, you first descend over 700 steps to reach the underground halls and then find yourself more than 120 meters underground. Don't worry, the ascent is by elevator. The Robert de Jolie Hall, 50 meters below the Earth's surface. The Chaos Hall, 100 meters below the Earth's surface. The Red Room, 121 meters below the Earth's surface. Each of these rooms has its own special feature, but you will be able to admire gigantic halls with stalagmites and stalactites of great beauty everywhere.
Historic capital of the Savoie, Chambéry is a city of history and art that reveals many assets. The old town, admirably restored, invites the walker to discover its mysterious avenues with multiple covered passageways, its patrician houses, its facades, its charming courtyards, its Cathedral Saint Francois de Sales which contains trompe l'oeil paintings, its castle, former residence of the Counts and Dukes of Savoie, its pedestrian streets and its famous Fountain of the Elephants. The visit continues with the Savoie Museum, which exhibits archaeological and ethnographic collections, and the Museum of Fine Arts, which houses a large number of Italian paintings. The saint Leger Square, very lively, is an unavoidable place in the city to stroll and rest at a cafe terrace. The city also proposes a large number of cultural events with the Espace André Malraux located in the Curiel district and the Shell Doulet Theatre. The Chauvet Pont d'Arc cave is home to the oldest cave paintings known to date, dating back around 36,000 years. The paintings depict horses, lions, rhinoceroses and hundreds of other animals. There are 15 different species in total. They were engraved into the cave walls with red ochre or flints or drawn on the walls with charcoal. On June 22, 2014, the cave was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. The cave is located near the famous natural stone bridge known as the Pont d'Arc, the gateway to the Ardèche Gorges. To prevent the murals from being destroyed, the climate in the cave is meticulously monitored. For this reason, it is unfortunately not possible to visit the Grotte Chauvet. However, just a few kilometers away from the original grotto, a copy called Grotte Chauvet to Ardèche allows visitors to admire all the riches of the original. For this unusual project, Painters, sculptors, architects, set designers and major construction companies have joined forces to use their expertise to reconstruct a best of the original grotto on a scale of 1 to 1 over an area of 3,000 square meters. A permanent exhibition in the so-called Grotte Chauvet 2 Ardèche shows the life of people in the Stone Age as well as lifelike replicas of animals from this period, which have been recreated on 8,180 square meters of walls and ceilings thanks to modern 3D technology. The Chamonix Mont Blanc Valley is mythical, unique, and incomparable. It is a land full of history and rich in sporting feats, a breathtaking natural environment. A mecca for skiers, snowboarders and freeriders with the world-famous runs on the Grand Monte, but there are also other runs for beginners and intermediate skiers. In Chamonix, top athletes and total beginners can make their own history as they wish and in total safety. Sport, culture and leisure, more than 46 different sports are practiced in the Chamonix Valley in summer, including hiking, mountaineering, paragliding, golf. The marked trails invite all hikers, good or beginners, to discover the valley on foot, from easy walks to more challenging mountain tours. The Aigui du Midi cable car offers an unforgettable view over the Mont Blanc Massif and the high alpine surroundings. The unique trip on the little red cogwheel train from Montaver takes visitors to the Mer de Glace Glacier, Sea of Ice, the Mont Blanc Cogwheel Railroad and the Brevent Cable Car. Thanks to the many lifts, everyone can easily access this unique alpine landscape, composed of shady forests, glittering glaciers, green mountain pastures and steep peaks.
The drome's hilly landscape staggers its soft, rounded shapes from the slopes of the Bar Dauphiné and the Vercourt to the valleys where the Rhône and Isère flow as border rivers. Its horizon is adorned with green gradations from which pebble houses rise. At its heart, in Otrive, an enchantingly fascinating building is dedicated to the imagination, the ideal palace of the letter carrier Chevel, the only work of architecture in the tradition of naive art and art brute, created by a single man. Gods and demons, grottos, turrets and minarets, the Palais Ideal du Focteur Chevel of the country letter carrier Chevel in Otrive is a colorful bazaar of architectural styles and an eccentric monument to naive architecture. It all began with a fall over a lump of tuff, the shape of which appealed to the future master builder. He then created his dream of the great world in 10,000 days from 1879 to 1912, with a Hindu temple, Berber castle and ancient columned gate. Gaudi was the inspiration, as were the avant-garde buildings of the Paris World Exhibitions around 1900. Every summer, the Palais Ideal du Focteur Chevel hosts various music events in the heart of the garden in an intimate setting. It is the largest glacial lake in France and the wildest of the large alpine lakes in continental France, Lac du Bourget. Falcons hunt on its western shore, while the Romans used to take the waters on the flat eastern shore. The route de Belvedere's leads to the most beautiful viewpoints. 18 kilometers long and one and a half to four kilometers wide, the 44.5 square kilometer lake stretches along a gully between the high mountains and the foothills of the Alps. It is framed by massifs over a thousand meters high, such as the Chêne de l'Épine and the Massif de Bosch, as well as the Mont du Char and Mont Rivard. They dammed up the floodwaters at the end of the last warm ice age around 19,000 years ago when the Great Alpine Glacier retreated from the Quaternary period, creating a lake in the Jura Mountains that is still more pristine and wilder than Lac d'Anissi and Lake Geneva. In the morning, early morning mist covers the surface of the water, whose color changes with the changing shores and seasons. Deep blue here, emerald green there, lead gray in winter. The waters are crystal clear, with mute swans fluffing up their white plumage as soon as a boat or stand-up paddler approaches. Fourteen harbors with a total of 2,600 berths line the shores of the lake. With 1,646 berths for boats and yachts, the marina in aix labor is one of the largest of its kind on a French lake. 320 berths are reserved for visitors and tourists. The medieval village of Perouge is located on a small hill and is one of the most beautiful villages in France. It has exceptional architecture that bears witness to a rich past. The cultivation of hemp and the weaving industry in particular made Perouge flourish. The village was fortunate that little was destroyed and that it was rebuilt in time from 1911 and many houses were restored. The small village is a regular venue for cultural events such as night's games or music festivals such as the Spring of Perouge in May and June. When you visit, you really feel like you've been transported back to the Middle Ages. You can literally hear the voices and sounds of the past. It is the reason why many films have been shot here, including films of the Three Musketeers. After passing through the town gate, you are greeted by a picturesque scene of cobbled streets lined with old houses and a 15th-century church. Medieval half-timbered houses with protruding bay windows and Renaissance houses with tracery windows characterize the medieval image of the town. In the middle of the village is the Linden Square with the 13th-century hostelry, where sick people and guests of the monastery were accommodated. The Museum of Old Perouge is also located here.
Grignard is one of the most beautiful villages in France and a village botanique. The village with its mighty fortifications and castle can be seen from afar. The extremely picturesque village sits enthroned on a hill and is surrounded by lavender fields and vineyards. Of course, the castle and the ramparts are the most obvious and impressive sights in Grignard. The castle was first mentioned in the 11th century, and in the 13th century it was rebuilt into the largest Renaissance castle in southeastern France. The town wall was also reinforced at this time with 12 observation towers. Over the course of time, it was modified again and again until, in the 19th century, the town grew to such an extent that it also extended outside the city walls. In the 17th century, Madame de Sévigné was a guest at the castle, to whom Grignard owes much of its fame. Her letters, many of them to her daughter, are now an important source of information about the people around her and the times. And so you come across this lady again and again in the town, many things are named after her and her grave is also located in Grignard. From the top, you also have a gigantic view of the surrounding area and the village. If you take the circular route along the fortress wall, you will pass the bombastic Saint-Savour church. Tournon and Tain l'Hermitage form a twin town that stretches along both sides of the Rhône in the Ardèche in southeastern France. Around 80 kilometers from Lyon, the left and right banks of the Rhône are connected by a pedestrian bridge that was built between 1379 and 1583. The two municipalities are known, among other things, for their location in the large Côte du Rhône wine-growing region, where wines with the origin hermitage are produced. Aside from its winemaking honors, the town's historical heritage is also impressive, in addition to the castle of Tionon as the most famous visitor magnet, visitors can look forward to many other buildings steeped in history. The site of today's Tionon was already settled in Roman times. Viticulture was already practiced back then, a source from 38 AD reports that the region was covered in vines. The first documented mention of the town dates back to 814, at this time there was already a castle built on the site of a watchtower from Roman times. In 1102, the castle was expanded into a fortress, at the beginning of the 14th century, it was given a new protective fortification. In the 20th century, the fortress was used as a Catholic monastery. Long since secularized, the former castle is known as the Castle of Tionon and is home to several interesting museums that should interest history buffs. Rich in a mining and industrial heritage, the city of art and history Saint-Étienne has preserved an important heritage, especially from the 19th and 20th centuries. The unmissable Jean Jaurès Square, adorned with a charming bandstand and lined with beautiful buildings such as the cathedral, the town hall and the prefecture, the lively pedestrian streets with stores of the Saint-Jacques district, the picturesque Poplar Square, as well as the numerous museums that the city counts are so many charms to discover. The remarkable Museum of Modern Art, with more than 15,000 works, houses one of the most important collections of modern and contemporary art in France. Overlooked by the silhouette of its winding tower and its two slag heaps, the Mining Museum, located on the site of the Courriette Shaft, allows you to discover a former mining site by visiting various places such as the changing room, the lamp room, the underground passages, the winding machine room or even the energy room. Also not to be missed are the Museum of Art and Industry and the Museum of the Old Saint-Étienne. 
Around the city, a peaceful and preserved nature awaits walkers, with the proximity of the Loire Gorges and the Pilot Massif. Yavois is a medieval village labeled most beautiful villages in France and is a pleasant place to stroll and wander, between the stores in the cobbled streets and the lakeside promenade where white swans and cruise ships await. Guided tours of the medieval village allow you to learn more about the history of Yavois and its strategic location on Lake Geneva. The Garden of the Five Senses is inspired by this medieval past and offers landscaped spaces between plant labyrinths, priests' gardens and rose gardens. The Maison de l'Histoire houses many documents that shed light on Yavois' past. In the medieval alleyways, craft stores alternate with art galleries. Lace making, basket weaving, crystal weaving, hat making, woodworking, designer groups, jewelry, regional products or pottery, Many workshops open their doors to you and their stores. In the port, the Compagnie Générale de Navigation's cruise ships await you, including the steam-powered Belle Epoque models that offer you the opportunity to sail to Geneva for dinner. Grenoble is one of the most appealing vacation destinations in France. This is not surprising, as nature speaks its own language. Rivers meet and surrounded by mountains, Grenoble makes for a delightful cityscape with an outstanding backdrop. Interesting excursion destinations are available for guests. Sporting activities and a distinctive artistic and cultural landscape make for a varied vacation. Connoisseurs are familiar with Grenoble's culinary specialties and enjoy the delicacies. Grenoble promises its guests life and adventure for a reason. A city with a lot to offer invites you to enjoy a relaxing vacation. A mountainous landscape with 60 kilometers of the Beldun Massif enchants the city. Grenoble is the highest mountain city in the Alps. The Vercourse, Chen de Beldun and Chartres massifs begin around Grenoble. Bizarre mountain peaks stretch over an altitude of 3,000 meters. It is a successful landscape with something special that is not only appreciated by nature lovers, but also attracts tourists like a magnet. Grenoble is very well endowed in terms of cultural history. The famous Musée de Grenoble contains the third largest art collection in France. Contemporary art from the 13th to the 21st century has established itself. The fortress La Bastille on the Chartreuse Massif presents the unity of 19th-century military architecture.
In the south of the département Ardèche lie the approximately 32 kilometers long spectacular gorges, the Gorges de l'Ardèche. They are located in the last third of the river between the towns of Valon pont arc and Saint-Martin d'Ardèche. This section of the Ardèche is home to magnificent landscapes created by water over more than 100 million years. During this time, a breathtaking canyon was carved into the limestone cliffs. Some of the cliffs rise up to 300 meters high in the midst of untouched and protected nature. The spectacular gorges begin at the village of Valon pont d'Arc with a naturally formed stone bridge. This is also the place to descend the Ardèche in a canoe or kayak. Various tours of approximately 8 kilometers are offered here as so-called mini-tours, as well as longer tours covering the entire route of approximately 32 kilometers. The longer tours last up to two to three days. Of course, this region is very busy in July and August and should therefore be avoided at this time. Beautiful sandy beaches along the river invite you to relax and swim. A road, D290, also leads from Saint Martin d'Ardèche or from Valon Pont d'Arc through the gorges of the Ardèche with impressive viewpoints. There are many marked hiking trails in the protected nature reserve, a wonderful opportunity to explore the beauty of this natural environment. For more than 60 years, the famous Aiguille du Midi, one of the highest rocky peaks in Chamonix, has been a top attraction with a worldwide reputation. From the center of Chamonix, the Aiguille du Midi cable car takes you to the gates of the high mountains at an altitude of 3,842 meters in 20 minutes. At an altitude of 3,777 meters, the Aiguille du Midi with its terraces offers a 360 degrees view of the entire French, Swiss, and Italian Alps. An elevator takes you to the summit terrace at 3,842 meters, from where you can enjoy a breathtaking view of Mont Blanc. This is breathtaking. Thrill seekers will appreciate the attraction of the site. A technological feat and unforgettable sensations. More than a thousand meters of emptiness under your feet, in this glass box glazed on five of its sides. One small step for the visitor, one giant leap in the history of the Aiguille du Midi. Goosebumps guaranteed. The tube is a 32 meter long steel gallery that allows you to completely circle the central summit of the Aiguille du Midi at an altitude of over 3,700 meters without turning back. An extraordinary place, an extraordinary idea, the location of the Aiguille du Midi is the starting point for many mountain tours, including, of course, the ascent of the legendary Mont Blanc via the three mountains. Many famous mountaineers have left their mark here. To honor these inventive and daring adventurers, of whom Rebuffet is the most famous example, the highest museum in the world is being built at 3,777 meters above sea level. Annecy is one of the most beautiful towns in the Alps. The town lies at the northern end of Lac d'Annecy and is surrounded by breathtaking, snow-capped mountains. The lake lies at an altitude of 447 meters above sea level and the highest mountain on its shores is La Tournette, a summit in the shape of an armchair, 2,351 meters high. The small medieval quarter is full of canals, bridges decorated with flowers and streets lined with arcades. There are many beautifully decorated stores, restaurants and bars along the canals. Two sites are definitely worth a visit. The Palais de Lille, a 12th-century prison in the middle of the Tiu Canal, 
and the Chateau d'Annecy with its small towers, which is situated in the hills above the town and offers wonderful views of the old town and the crystal clear lake in the background. There is a market in Annecy almost every day, where you can buy food, textiles or fruit and vegetables from local farms. If you like swimming, you will find numerous beaches on the lake. In summer, the water reaches a temperature of around 24 degrees. The old railroad line on the shore of the lake has been converted into a 30-kilometer cycle route, so you can easily get to the beaches as well as the many restaurants and picnic areas.